Greetings car fanatics, as you can see, my 2004 Lexus RX 330 has the quintessential dashboard cracks. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to repair these dashboard cracks. It's going to look pretty good, and it's not going to cost you much money at all. We're going to be using this product called Sugru Moldable Glue. And what we're going to do is fill in these cracks over here, and then we're going to blend it in so you can't really notice these cracks. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the moldable glue comes in different colors. So you see here that I have gray, white, and black. They also have blue, red, and some other colors. So the first thing you're going to want to do is match the color of the glue to the dashboard. Now, mine is black, so I can just use black, but if yours is slightly a different color, you can mix these together and just kind of roll them together like you would Play-Doh, and that's gonna mix the colors together and allow you to do that. Now, once you open these packets, they say you have 30 minutes of working time, but I did open this packet a few days ago, and it's still pretty good. Let me show you how to get started. Um, to fill in cracks, you don't really need a lot of the moldable glue at all. So what you want to do is first try to take the glue, mold it into a little line here as much as you can. And this is just going to make it a bit easier for us to press it into the surface. So let's go ahead and then start to kind of put this here. So then what I like to do is add a little bit to the line and then just kind of tap. And that's going to allow the moldable glue to kind of uh, stick to the surface rather than your finger. So let's go ahead and just start filling in this line. So a little at a time, just put some on your finger and then kind of put it on here and then just tap it in like that. And we're gonna keep repeating. All right, so now that we have the moldable glue strategically placed, you kind of tapped it in and that's gonna keep the moldable glue kind of stuck to the surface. And now what you can do is start to spread it because again, we're only trying to get the moldable glue into the crack. So as you warm it up with your finger and just moving it around, it's going to spread. And as you can see, it's starting to fill in that crack. All right, so as you can see, I spread the moldable glue around here. And what you really wanna do is make sure you push that moldable glue into that crack, like so. Now you're still going to see a little bit of a crack, but I'll show you how we can make this almost completely vanish. All right, so I'm going to show you how we do just one section rather than everything here. And then I'll show you the finished product. So now what you're going to do is you want to take a towel and let's go ahead and remove the excess. Just wipe it off carefully. And what remains should just be in the crack. All right, so we have this first portion of the crack filled in and it looks a whole lot better than this. Let me go ahead and finish the rest and I'll show you what the product looks like. All right guys, while we're here, let's go ahead and fill this in because as you can see, it's missing a nice chunk. So the color doesn't match perfectly, but I will show you how to kind of blend this in with spray paint. But let's go ahead and let this dry. I think overall it's a big improvement, and when we blend it in, you're not really going to be able to notice it. All right, Car Fanatics, so we have all the cracks filled in. Now you're still probably going to see the crack a little bit even after I touch this up, but let me show you how I'm going to make this less visible. We're going to apply some paint just to match everything, but before that, let's go ahead and take some rubbing alcohol and just clean the surface, which will allow the paint to adhere better. All right, now that we have this surface clean, we're gonna take our spray paint. Of course, you wanna use a color that matches. Shake up that can for about 30 seconds. So now we're gonna apply some spray paint to a cloth. So just spray it a little bit here. I'm gonna move it outside the car so I don't get the spray inside the car. All right, so we have a little bit of spray paint, but we don't wanna apply this directly because we want it to blend in. So what we're going to do is take just a little bit of lacquer thinner here and then go ahead and apply it to the paint. Quick dab, and that's just gonna thin it out. All right, so now we're just gonna take this and let's start dabbing in the color. All 
All right, and I applied a little bit more lacquer thinner and paint to my cloth over here. And now we just want to kind of blend everything in. Just let's work that color in. And that's just going to make everything blend together a bit more and give it more of a uniform finish. All right, car fanatics. Well, let's take a look at the final results. And this is by no means perfect, but it's a vast improvement over how the dashboard looked before. Now for about 25 to 30 bucks, you can repair the dashboard and make it look a whole lot better. We now have the cranks that are filled in, so the glue is going to prevent that from spreading even more. And in addition to that, um, you know, the color is all uniform, so it looks a whole lot better. This is an old car, so we're not trying to get perfect results here, but it does look a lot better. And if you look here where I used to be missing a chunk, now it's filled in. Now, I could have done a better job blending it, but overall it still looks pretty good, and from afar you really can't tell. Well, thanks for watching Car Fanatics. If you're interested in doing this yourself, you can find links in the description below to the products used here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions or comments below, and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you're notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.